racket, racket magazine, racket, 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 racket magazine, team, team, team. Alright, how do we introduce and stuff? Hey. Racket Mag, here with Brother Ali. Uh, he just got done with his set. So how's, how's it going? We actually caught some of your set and it was fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, how did you feel about it? I'm just happy to be here. Yeah? Yeah. I like, um, I actually caught Tightrope and I like, I like your third verse when you threw in that Lauryn Hill sample. Mm, Lauren. Mm, that yeah. was good. Uh, it's funny because I do that on tour. Yeah. And I always say like, you know, um, actually that was my, my DJ, BK1, uh -huh. my previous DJ. He actually staying home because he's having kids now. BK or no? BK, BK yeah. is staying home because he has kids now. And his wife has a, like a really important job in the community. Mm -hmm. Like she runs a community center in the hood and she does a lot of good for a lot of uh, like families. So um, he basically said that you helping people is more important than me playing records for Brother Ali, which I, I agree completely. But I love him and I miss him. But that actually was a routine that, that he made up mm. where uh, we switched to the Lauryn Hill instrumental and then flip it to Lauryn Hill's acapella. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. And we always do this thing where we try to get the crowd to channel yeah, channel that Lauren Hill. Miss Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss Hill. Yeah. Miss Lauren Hill. Yes. So how, how's it going otherwise? I mean, you know, you're looking good. I like the beard. I like this. I tried to grow a beard. It just wasn't working out at all. Your beard, your beard. You had like yeah. the look. I like the look. I like that it's white. It looked real cool. Because I don't know if you remember, but we had a brief conversation uh, at Paid Dues last year. We were, on, we were on stage with Slug and all that. And we, we kind of talked. You probably don't remember. Right. I, I'm legally blind, man, so it takes me a minute sometimes. Like, okay. mm -hmm. I don't see very well, and sometimes I don't always remember people. I remember conversations, though. Okay, all right. Yeah, we, we, we really wanted to just ask you if we could have a hug, and I don't think we got it. But um, maybe we could get a hug, like, today? Like, maybe now? A like, all, like a group hug, maybe. Group hug? How do you feel about group hug? We're big fans of yours. Does it have to be an on-camera hug? Like, is that the, that the whole... Is that the whole purpose of this thing? We could yeah. do it off camera too, whatever. I, we I could mean, do it. Any, any, anybody can get a hug, man. Group, Group hug? hug? Group hug. Oh. This feels so good. Let's bring it together just for a moment. Oh, nice. Just for a moment? Nice. Oh, that does feel good. Feel good. Oh, man. Yes. I felt that energy just like <laughs> flow out of you. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm a very loving person. You do That's good. Like yeah. Like That's why I, I feel like you, 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 you're, I don't know, you give off an aura of like a big brother, you I'm, know? I've been, I was given a lot of love. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It makes you a, a conductor of love. Mm -hmm. That's a good word. It sounds like funny, that. but I'm talking about like true. I'm not talking about, you know, um, you know, the corny love song love. I'm talking about like honest, honest miracle of love. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Like we talk like, about like what love really means is to put somebody else before yourself. Right. And in that sense, love is a miracle, right? Because like, I'm not bullshitting. Like, uh, yeah. When, when a miracle happens, when nature stops happening and something else takes over, that's, that's more powerful than nature, right? right. Mm -hmm. So we're taught all these ideas about Jesus walking on water and things like that. And um, I think that all of those were just to just like lead ups and build ups right. to his real miracle. I'm not a Christian. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying his real miracle was love because like the first law of nature is self-preservation. And so when you're able to set that aside and put somebody else's well-being before your own, that's literally a miracle. And that's, and that's really what, um, you know, so all these people that really talk about love, 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 like we're not just talking about sappy, soft, right, 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 right. you know what I mean? Like real, I mean, true, honest love is the raw love is the most gangster thing on the planet. It because like it means that you might have to kill for your love and you might have to be killed for your love and like love is a revolutionary thing because because i mean we we i i was turned on to you through your uh, your paid dues uh, performance last year mm. and then i i got us you know and, and i'd listen to that and i really really like that mm. you know i think you know you talk about honest love and i think that really shows through your whole album thank you for you saying know? that yeah. uh you know you you it's like you learn to love yourself and you know it seems like you had a rough beginning life or young life everybody did yeah, mine so, was mine was not as easy or as hard as easy or as hard as a lot of people a lot of people had a way worse right, a lot of people right. had a little mm -hmm. better Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so so I feel like it really shows through, and it was interesting t for you to just say that in front of me right now. Mm. Yeah, it was nice. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, you guys were trying to have a funny interview, and this is not working. No, out no, no. We, we actually we we, we, we just like you, so yeah. You can do all this. You, you can do whatever you want. Cool. Oh, okay, that's cool. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, doing. I'm doing. I'm doing very good. I, I 
feel like, okay. Fantastic. I, I like this. Um, we actually saw on a, a, a recent Facebook uh, update that you're going to be going back to uh, take a GEDs because yeah. you didn't graduate high mm -hmm. school, right? Yeah, well, I've, I've always, something that's always kind of been on my mind. Mm -hmm. And obviously, um, it was a big challenge not having a diploma, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Like when I was still working, because I've, I've been married and had kids since I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. and, um, so, you know, just supporting them and providing for them and all that kind of stuff. But I just recently read this book called Brother West, West Living and Loving Out Loud. It's a memoir of Dr. Cornell West. Mm -hmm. And um, in there, he just talks about the quest for knowledge and how it um, how it depth deepens your appreciation and experience in life and um, so it made me start thinking like you know why, how come I've never read these books that like these people have read how come I never read Socrates why can't I read mm -hmm. Karl Marx why can't I read Edward Said like right. you know what I mean I've read all I've read a whole lot of black history because that's what has mattered to me the most but Outside of that, I haven't read a, a whole lot. And um, so I was like, you know, I'm gonna start reading these books. And I picked them up, started reading them and realized that I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I, I, Cause there's 13 books I should have read to lead up to that. Right, right, right. Mm. And so, um, you know, I wanna, I wanna go to college. Not because I need that piece of paper and not because I need somebody else to give me permission to learn, but just because I'm hoping that in those situations, in that circumstance, they can kind of give me the, the roadmap to get to the things that I want to know, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that like your so next I'm, plan? Is to to, to pursue, uh, I, don't know, I guess your schooling, your your education? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I always have. You know what I mean? I became a Muslim. I taught myself how to learn how to read and write Arabic, okay. so that I could read my books for what they really are in the original language. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, man, I want to go to school. I've always kind of been jealous of people that, like, I'm never gonna have that. Some people go to college and they get to chill and party and get high and fuck everybody, you know? Like, I mean, obviously I'm never gonna have that experience because I'm an adult. Right. But um, I do, in a way, not envy, but, I, but um, I do look at that opportunity to learn in that kind of organized way. Mm -hmm. And um, I've always felt kind of funny about the fact that other people get to do that and I don't. You know what I mean? So now I'm... Now I'm I'm gonna do that. I don't know if I'm even necessarily gonna try to get a degree, but mm -hmm. I definitely want to get in that environment and um, see what what it could do for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so yeah, I'm getting my GD, and I'm trying to get everybody You're working um, with the mayor, right? You're working with uh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's funny. Like right when I decided to do that, um, the school board hit me up, and they're like, "Hey, we're doing this thing to bring kids back to into school. Mm -hmm. Will you do a public service announcement with the mayor?" Mm -hmm. And I was like, "Yeah, it's crazy because I really spoke to where I'm at right now." Mm -hmm. But I'm doing a personal thing where I'm trying to get other people in and around the Twin Cities mm -hmm. that need to do their GED, that we're going to prepare and all come out and do it the same day and like uh, go okay. to the testing center together mm -hmm. and just try to get all the people that need to do it to, to do it. You know so you're I mean? still trying, you're trying to figure out a date and all that stuff then, I guess? Yeah, yeah. yeah. well, I mean, I'm, I'm just starting to talk about it. And some, some uh, people need a little more preparation than others. So some people might, might need a full month to prepare for the math and the grammar and all that stuff you ready to go with all that? I think so because he's a he's a math tutor I don't know yeah you, I, can, I can teach you some math or something I yeah. teach algebra geometry little kids and stuff I just found out that there's a symbol for pi oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it's cool yeah. I could I, don't, I can't really tutor you but I could give you like uh, positive reinforcement up, say man. hit me up on Twitter and be like you can do it you can do it yes <laughs> <laughs> we'll do we'll definitely yeah. do that well thank you for your time thank you guys Ooh, can we have one more, one more thing yeah um, can, you, can you say to the, the camera uh, Gabe and Dennis are my best friends which and is Gabe and which is Dennis I'm Gabe and that's Dennis right there you're, you're Gabe and you're Dennis. Oh, I thought you said you're gay. Uh, Gabe. No, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm Gabe, Gabe, and that's Dennis. Gabe. Yeah. Yes. What's up, you guys? I'm Brother Ali. This is Gabe. This is Dennis, and and they're my best friends that are standing in this two foot radius right now. These are my favorite people in the three foot radius that we're in, and they asked me to say that I read some magazine, so I do read it. Racket. Sometimes, Racket magazine. Sometimes. Racket magazine.